Hey there, this is Sam Peters, and today I'm going to show you a really fun song by uh, Seawolf entitled Middle Distance Runner. It's a really fun song for finger picking. Um, the finger picking is a little different on it, so that's kind of enjoyable just to kind of stretch, stretch your mind out and use your fingers in different ways. Um, quarterly, it's a pretty easy song, and um, I, used, I like to use these simpler songs as uh, vehicles by which to expand your understanding of the guitar. So I do a little something like that at the end of the song. Anyways, I hope you enjoy it. Here it is. Well, I'm so sad tonight And the words won't come out right It's been a long day on the track And it's seminar that I like So won't you run to me tonight, tonight Let's not talk about next summer It's all only ever be a middle distance runner So let's talk through those chords. So what I'm going to show you is a typical uh, pattern for the verse in the intro, and that is measure seven. Okay, it's the first measure I start singing. It goes like this. I'm going to take it nice and slow. I'm going to do it one more time. Now our rhythm on that is one and two E and three and four E and. What you're going to be doing is basically playing an F to a B flat. B flat here on the sixth fret, which is the same shape as that F. And you're going to have some variations with that F chord. And basically the variations only play these notes. Third fret on the E, first fret on the E, open on the E, third fret on the D, first fret on the B. And when you play the B flat, it's pretty much the same thing. Pinky here on the eighth fret, index finger, which is already being held down, and pinky on the B string eighth fret, and index, which is already being held down. Those are your variations, but it's always gonna be one and two E and three and four E and. The chorus is a little bit more difficult because there's a little bit more happening as far as chord changes and string changing with your right hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you that first measure of the chorus, okay? I'm going to play it for you twice, nice and slow. So I'm going to do it one more time. Now I'm going to play the next line in the chorus, starting on that C. All right, now I'm going to play the last little bit of the chorus. It goes like this. Last line of the chorus.
So the little extra bit that I did at the end here for this song is basically I'm going up the F major scale. The scale goes like this. We're going to go E on the first fret, E open, F on the first fret, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. Okay? But what I do is I change the chords up. So what I'm going to I'm going up the scale and I'm playing F and then I'm playing B flat. And then I'm playing F again and then I'm playing B flat again. So what I have here is first and second fret. And then I'm releasing the bar and I'm playing that open E string. And then I'm playing a B flat here. First fret, third fret, and third fret. And then I'm going to play an F again. And here's our little F shape, our little D shape F chord here on the 5th and 6th fret. To B flat. To F. To B flat. I'm going to show you that again. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything that you have any issues with or anything you're unsure of and you want some more clarity, please let me know in the comment section down below. I will clarify. Um, thank you to all my Patreons for supporting this channel. And uh, if you enjoyed this uh, lesson, please uh, subscribe. Please give me the old thumbs up and uh, consider supporting me as well. Um, all the links are down below and I uh, look forward to playing with you in the future. Thanks so much.